morning from the High Lonesome Ranch out here in the beautiful western slope of Colorado. Today it's the inaugural Wild Horse Gravel and we're going deep in the backcountry for some gravelly goodness. Are you ready? Let's roll. Don't ride above your ability on the descents. Be aware that you can come into all the world. G'day, trendsetters. Coming to you from the inaugural Wild Horse Gravel in beautiful Quebec, Colorado. Alongside me is Josh. Let's give that horse back rider some We're going to have an absolute blast today. The weather is off the chart. Perfect day for a race. See you soon. Ride out there. Everybody be safe. Okay, keep in mind you got a cattle guard after your first one here. And we're off and running in the inaugural Wild Horse Gravel. Riders have the choice of two courses, a longer out and back course featuring two timed segments, or a shorter course with one timed segment. Both courses stop in the small western Colorado town of Debec. Wild Horse Gravel isn't a race, rather a ride, although there are two possible timed segments. I'd wager one or two riders are taking the segments seriously, whilst most of us are there to take in the scenery and a pile of photographs. Beyond the scope of these segments, the ride is not timed. The chest cam view is from Ben Delaney, the gentleman who introduced the video earlier. Barring the scenery of the high desert, you will likely encounter all manner of critters, including cows and wild horses. I'm well into the one and only timed segment for the short course and rolling a steady tempo, pacing myself from other riders or using them as a carrot to chase. Residing at sea level for much of the year, along with being sleep deprived, I wasn't expecting a world class time during the segment. The course descended a little during the segment, but this wasn't the time or place to push it hard. Conditions were loose and rutted in places, requiring a careful choice of one's line. In this scene, Ben, who makes his home near Boulder, Colorado these days, feels the effort of the steady uphill grade of the first timed segment. The segment saved the best for last with a very steep climb finishing proceedings, followed by another steep hill to reach the neutral water station. Here are some riders who are completely trashed. Ditto. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Okay, slackers, come on, keep going there. Keep going. There's a lot of suffering going on here. A lot of suffering. All right, good job, slackers. Very nice. You should see what's at the top of this climb. Massage tables. Not really, actually, there's nothing up there. <laughs> Following the neutral water station, I made the strategic decision to ride the short course. I'd see just as much epic scenery as the long course, albeit with significantly less climbing. It was one of those days where I wasn't feeling super primo day off the ride. However, I made sure to stop several times to capture photos and video. The grind duro format of racing is a ton of fun and quite relaxing versus focusing completely on an ever running clock. There was much descending following the neutral water station between the town of the Beck. Mixed with beautiful scenery, this part of the course made for a super fun experience. Oh yeah. I'm somewhere along the first half of the Wild Horse Gravel course and as you can see behind me, the scenery is pretty amazing. This view from Ben's chest cam provides a better idea of how rough some areas of the course really were. Ben maintains a relaxed position on the drops with his weight positioned towards the rear of the bike. 
Here, he's mixing it up with some tandemonium action, the only tandem team at Wild Horse Gravel. As I drew closer to Debec, there were several flatter, open areas where you could see for miles. Mentioned earlier, barring the timed segments, the rest of the course wasn't timed, but there was a cutoff time in the town of Debec for the long course. The return leg of the long course was ridden on these roads you see on camera, albeit in the reverse direction. The return ride was not an easy undertaking. The weather on event day was spectacular. At ride start it was a tad cool, enough for arm warmers and a base layer, but by late morning the temperatures had warmed up to the low 70s Fahrenheit. The perfect weather for riding. In this scene, I'm rolling downhill into the bustling metropolis of the Beck, population around 500 people, circa 2010. Ken, how's it going out there? Oh, it's so lovely out there. Couldn't ask for a better day. It rained a little bit yesterday. It's nice and tacky. A little, little, they got a couple spots just to keep you on your toes. All sorts of beautiful folks out here having a great time. This is the only pavement of the ride and it only featured on the shore course for approximately three to four miles before returning to the dirt and gravel roads of the high lonesome ranch. I crossed the finish line nice and early, allowing for plenty of time to catch finishes from the long course looking down from above. In summary, the inaugural wild horse gravel was a ton of fun with excellent support on course, plenty to do at the start and finish, off the chart scenery, and being a smaller event, it had a great vibe providing a rich experience for all attendees. Definitely a ride people should consider looking at in 2020. In the meantime, Royal Massif have more gravel events on their calendar. Be sure to check them out at royalmassif.com. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they are released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.